for a PNP transistor. Let's direction of the arrow is a little different. This is P and P transistor. Uh, current flow would be this way. And the base on this current flow would be this way. The current flow on the NPN is this way as well. Okay. Um, We're going to stick with NPN first. Um, direction of current flow is this way, in the same direction as the arrow. Current from the base would be this way also, same direction as the arrow. A lot of times they'll put a circle around this and call it a transistor in a schematic. Let's talk about the currents in here. We have collector current, IC. We have uh, base current equals IB. And we have emitter. equals IE. Now if you'll notice the drawing we've made here, the collector current and the base current all ending up in the emitter, the emitter current, excuse me, IE is equal to IC plus IB. Okay. Um, Collector current, let's see, IC is equal to um, IE minus IB, and the emitter current, this kind of looks like Ohm's law, doesn't it? Emitter current is equal to um, We already did a meter current. Let's see. How about base current? I base is equal to IE minus IC. So we have a relationship of these currents. Now, generally, the current, uh, we have a something called beta DC. Beta DC is the relationship of IC over IB. And you're thinking about this. Um, think about it this way. The current IB controls IC. So if in your data sheet you have a beta DC of 150, let's say, and that's a number that has no units to it. Uh, it has a gain uh, of 150, current gain. Which means the base current is our 150 times the base current equals the collector current. Something to note also is that the if I have a beta DC of 150 then the base current, IB, is so small that IC plus IB equals IE. Um, 
if the base current is so small uh, relatively, uh, excuse me, IC is equal to ID in this. So let's put this guy in a circle. But before we do that, we need to find out what alpha is. Excuse me, alpha DC is equal to IC over IE. Well, if IC is approximately equal to IE, then this should be less than one, but not by much. If beta DC is 30, then we have to pay attention to alpha DC base current is important and the difference between IC and IE is important also. It makes a difference to it between whether or not you have a second approximation or first approximation.